decided to do a one book, one school program, and we gave all the students and all the staff members a copy of Counting by Sevens by Holly Goldberg Sloan, who's here to speak with us today. It's something that brings a community together, and I, reading is a wonderful thing. My mother is blind, and she listens to books on tape, and we listen to the same books because it gives us something at, at this point in her life to share with me. So that's what this experience is about. It was amazing. I really liked it, especially like the plot line and all the stuff and how she did Seven and the Sunflower and how she just interpreted so many different things and do it. It was really good. Uh, I got to talk to my friends about it a lot. My teachers talked to me about it. Uh, it was actually like a really good thing for the community. It really connected a lot of people together and I saw that even with just my group of friends. Well, I after I finish like a chapter, I go to my friends during lunch and I'm like, oh, did you read this chapter? And if they say yes, I'll be like, oh, and then we like we just start discussing it together and we just talk about it throughout lunch. They love the book. They love they can relate to some of the things that were going on because the book was set in a middle school. I had some students that struggle with um, most uh, Easy, easy math, you know, uh -huh. um, subtraction so with three groupings. Seven, fourteen, twenty-one. Uh huh. Oh. And I had I had one of them who did basically all by himself. It brought our our staff and our students together as a community because all the staff members read it as well. And that's why I'm here today to talk about the story and their reaction to it. And they are just beside themselves because they get to interact with a real life author and real life person who wrote this particular book.